This is a four kilogram Yu-Gi-Oh cards collection that I picked up on eBay and I'm gonna open it up in this video. What's up casual viewers, Casual Yugi stuff back with another video. We have picked up a collection on eBay. On screen now is the price that I paid for this four kilogram worth of cards. Uh, basically it was just on eBay, it was buy now 75. I sent 65 off, uh, he counted 70. I accepted because there were some pretty good cards in here that I could at least see from the photos that you can see on screen. So uh, let's see if we have A, got a deal, B, made our money back, or C, wasted our money. So if you're excited for the video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This has arrived in terrible condition this package you can actually hear it all shaking around there's a hole in it there's cards that you can see just loosely uh, left in there see that, that stack of cards i have no idea what to see all i know there's a couple of ulties in here and i was like how oh, i like ultimate res i don't know if he's basically if that was all the good cards maybe they there's some commons that are worse stuff so we might have like a tally pop up on screen of the big cards and like 75 was the total we spent including the five pound shipping so we need to hopefully at least make our money back that would be um, useful but not necessarily will I sell everything yeah everything's open up to interpretation but look at this this is horrible guys no freaking way look let's just open this up this Amazon box which is so weak <gasps> yo there's a Vorse Raider tin there and this is looking crazy hey crab turtle let's go best collection by ever because crab turtles probably probably the best card in here absolutely yo another crab turtle what's going on this guy knows i love crab turtle all right so we finally managed to separate the cards at least in some sort of order so let's just go through the stacks we'll go through the tin and then the special big box last it's going to be a long video. There's going to be lots of cards in here. So uh, let me know, A, your favorite card that you see in here. I think, I think you know mine. We'll do a Crab Turtle counter. Um, and if there's anything of value in here that I might have missed, because um, there's not just rares and holographic cards that are worth something, you can get some nice, you know, commons like Metamorphosis or Trap Dust Shoot, all those sorts of things. So if I've missed anything, because I'm going to go through this with you guys, let me know and uh, I'll go find it later. Um, first edition, uh, Giant Turtle that Feeds on Flames, or Magic Ruler. Uh, Big Burn, uh, Follow. Follow, uh, hollow foil, that's nice. So yeah, we'll take out all the foils, fusion gate, uh, see if there's anything actually decent in here. Uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't really recommend this unless you kind of have a general idea. I knew there were some foils in here. Crab turtle number three, let's go. Crab turtle counter baby. But, um, but yeah, that's why I don't really buy these kind of cards because I already have a lot of bulk and I don't need more bulk, basically. I'm trying to get rid of my bulk. There I am buying 4,000 cards or however many cards were in this collection. Uh, foolish me. Oh, we got a foil here. We've got a pretty destroyed, relinquished. Definitely a childhood favorite uh, for most people because it was blue and it was just a really cool color. We have a treasure map. I say Euro print. Foolish pack. I don't know. Foolish pack something. Mushroom man used to be worth something. Uh, I don't know if there's anything decent in here. Eat Gaboon. That's first edition magic ruler. It's pretty cool. Uh, nothing so far. Leo Gun, I really do like. It's got great artwork. Electric, electric lizard. RP Lady Sisters Common. Mask of Brutality. No one of extermination. Everlasting Mist. Forced risk requisition. Okay, compulsory. Hey, the scorpions coming together. That's pretty cool. Giant Germ might be might be pretty decent. A couple more rares here. Mad Dog of Darkness from Invasion of Chaos. Metal Dragon. That's another year. Oh, Ancient Gear Castle for Hollow Foil. That's pretty good. Dimensional Fisher, maybe, but used to be a lot. Now is nothing. Uh, <laughs> he put a little sticker on the trap hole. That's hilarious. What is that? It's like a little jelly bean or something. Book of Moon, maybe. I don't know. Uh, trap hole. The Warrior Returning Alive. Ooh, Cyber Dark Horn. That's actually not too bad. Uh, like, ooh! Oh, the condition of that. Invader of Darkness is, is sad, but that's uh, not first edition. It's IOC, maybe like a pound or two there. Oh, there we go. This might be one of the ultis I saw. Cloak and Dagger, first edition ulti from Ston. You would say that's probably maybe uh, moderate pay. It's probably like a three, two dollar card. So not bad. Fisher, Chaos Sorcerer, not bad for Goat. And a Toon Summon Skull, <laughs> which is completely better than half. Great. So not the best there, but still a pretty nice looking card. So a lot to go through here, guys. So I'm pretty much gonna fast speed through here. So if you don't see this, you'll only see the foils, but I don't know, it depends how long the video is. Um, mostly upside down, I do apologize, but Karate Man, maybe cool. Cannon Soldier, 
All the rares coming through now, not bad. Lots of rares. Sangan, Witch of the Black Forest. Not first edition, but Nimble Momonga. That's pretty cool. Let's just turn those around. Um, oh, here we go. Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. Now that's a good one. Um, Dark Fire Dragon. Phantom Beast Cross Wing. Pulling the Rug, first edition rare. That might be something. Queen's Knight, first edition rare. Might be something. And then just a load of LOB. Euro Unlimited card, so not bad. I want to see why these cards are put in this little plastic bag. Let's see what the hell that is. I'm curious. Why did he put these in here? Are they all traps or are they all foils or something? I don't know. Where's the trap dust shoots at? That's all I want to know. Uh, pretty much just terrible trap cards. So does this mean that these are monster cards in here then? Let's take a look. Or maybe just vanillas. I don't know. Here we go. Metal Fish, Haid Hain, Petite Dragon, Red Eyes, Beach Chick. Some cool cards in here, man. It's definitely nostalgic just to go through these. And they still have that kind of whiff to them as well. Wall Shadow, great card, really nostalgic. King of Yummy Makai with a 15 13 defense. We all remember that as a kid. Griggle, um, Moki Moki, Harpy Lady, some heroes now from Lost Millennium. That's pretty cool. They seem to be pretty good condition too. Uh, but still tricks from TLM. Yeah, let's see if we can assemble all the heroes. We just need a spark man Mind wipe nothing of no common that I can see here. That's actually expensive unfortunately, but hey ho Where are all these fours? I know there were more foils than that, but let's let's see what everything has in store for us Man, to bug. It's not a foil. Turn out thunder dragon from DB2 Jirai Gumo tadpole Nothing here that I can see of any value, really. Um, soul release might be something. Chain energy might be something. And da, 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 da. Black Stego. Susa Soldier, maybe. It's not looking good, guys. So far, it's uh, it's really not looking uh, too good for us. In fact, I'm getting thumb cramp, believe it or not, already. And we're not even halfway through. Nothing in this patch. All right, let's go to our final non-tinned or shoeboxed cards. Oh, Spirit Messages. Yeah, they're always okay. Phantasmal Martyrs. The Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Let's see if there is anything in here of decent quality. Skull Invitation. Monster Reborn. Hat Pot of Greed. Spike Bot. Grave Digger Ghoul, Hero Emerges, King of the Swamp might be worth a dollar or two. Fairy Box, Hero Ring, Super Rare, cool. Um, Pot of Generosity, Lightning Vortex, always a strong card. Soul Exchange, it's a foil. Uh, da, 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 let's see, Heavy Storm, MRD, Super Rare, that's pretty good. Even though it's banned. Uh, why is Heavy Storm banned and, and Harpy's Feather Duster isn't? That's a really good discussion. Finally! A nice card. So we have a Thousand Eyes Restrict. That's a pretty good one. Let's check this thing out. So how does it look condition-wise? Uh, not good. Everything in here hasn't been sleeved. So, so far we're doing pretty bad. I think we've got maybe £10 back at most with our three Crab Turtles. Look, got myself a play set of Crab Turtles. I'm not going to complain. But let's see if we can get any more out of this tin. So why have these cards been placed in the tin? Let's find out if there is actually anything decent in here. So... Um, yeah, let's, let's see. So far, it's more of the same old stuff, really. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, okay. Catapult Turtle. Here we go. We've got some foils. So we have a Catapult Turtle, completely destroyed. Pretty good. Gemini Imps from PP1. We have Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. Black Luster Soldier. Here we go, guys. We've hit a little ravine of foils. Two Black Luster Soldiers. Very cool. Machina Cannon. Gravekeeper's Chief, again, still very bad condition. Okay, that was a nice little ravine of hollows there. So let's see if we can hit some follow, hollow foils. Not much sort of first edition Legend of Blue Eyes or Meadow Raider stuff, a little bit, but not much. So commons haven't been great so far. We haven't really found anything too crazy good. Oh yeah, these are all obviously PSV, LOB, LON, but there's none of its first edition, unfortunately. Still nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not what we want. There's a Ravia, Lord of Phantasms again. Probably probably just played condition because of the big bend in that corner. Then we have a Mystical Knight of Jackal from Dark Revelation 1. So interesting how scattered these cards are like. This seller, you can tell, 
rescue cat pretty good this seller didn't really care about what he was selling here we go trihorn dragon that's pretty cool does have a little warp there on the left hand side there which is a big shame but that's not terrible condition like it looks probably good in a binder penguin soldier always a good couple of pounds i think very good for goat decks Dark Saggy, Saggy the Dark Clown, pretty nice. So yeah, this tin's definitely been better than the loose cards, which is good, at least it had some protection in Transport. The more Saggy, Summon Skull from Starter Deck Revolution, Yugi. Back to square one, nothing crazy there. And then the tin itself's in pretty good condition, by the way, it's, it looks quite good. Not any real damage on there. So let's just check out what else we've got. I think these are majority upside down, so let's just turn it over. Okay, this isn't easy, but uh, we keep going. We move. What do we have? Gadget Soldier. Funny how this is a Kyber card. Really weird. Okay. Berserk Gorilla, maybe. Yeah, guys, you have to let me know down in the comments whether this was a worthwhile investment or not. Um, yeah, these are... Ooh, Vampire Genesis. That's an Ultra Rare. Absolutely destroyed. Uh, some other couple cards here. Firefox. Reckless Greed. Hey, Elemental Hero Neos. Played condition, but that is a tin Euro Neos. Shame they all have like a one big dent. Otherwise, they would have been pretty good condition. Yeah, this, this person really, or this person's daughter, son, didn't really care about their cards all too well. Unfortunately, they are quite poor. But Pyramid of Light, maybe. Maybe this kid went to the movies back in the day and actually got the free Pyramid of Light out of his pack. Uh, da, 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 DD Dynamite, maybe something and then we've got spell shield type 8 so that was the tin now we have the big shoe box holy moly there's cards falling out of this this is gonna be a long video guys I do warn you <laughs> whether you find this fun or not I do it's kind of like digging for treasure because you never know what the hell you're gonna find um, it's as close as I would say to sort of <laughs> expensive metal detecting there you go there's a foil right there oh there's a few foils that's a super rare relinquish from db1 but it's destroyed and we've got the phantom beast card so that's not too bad um and now we will keep going and see what the hell else is in here shall we graceful charity always good imagine if this ever comes back off the ban list that will be quite an expensive card i think harpy girl I wonder how many more fours there are in here i think we're maybe at 20 pounds back we've got jack's knight for that because we had queen's knight Dimension Wall, Steamroid, Griffin Wing, Super Rare, uh, Karibo, Snatch Steel, maybe because it's unbanned now. Uh, let's see. Don't know if anything else in here is going to be worth. Semex Blessing, that's really cool to see as a common. So used to seeing it in Prismatic. Uh, Deep Sea, Flame Dweller, Flame Swordsman, Magic Ruler version because it was released in common out of magic ruler not as a super rare in lb for euro change of heart might always be worth something gravekeepers bear soldier ball soldier sorry mangari around i just love that card uh, card destruction yeah could be worth a pound maybe some decks use it harpies feather duster and gate guardian and the dd warrior lady okay so i think gate guardian was advertised so i'm glad that's actually here so harpies feather duster Nah, probably not doable. Maybe, yeah, with your friends, but maybe not at tournament level. Gate Guardian as well. That is a secret rare Euro Gate Guardian. It is totally trash, but still a Gate Guardian. And a DD Warrior Lady from Dark Revelation 1. Again, that's actually probably playable. Yeah, probably passable for playable. So that was probably about £10 back. So I'd say we're about £30 so far, as my estimate. Um, here we go. We've got Faded Karibo. That's pretty cool. Still kind of played, but not bad. So we're just going to have to go through here and yeah, let's see if we can find anything else, guys. Oh, speaking of which, there is a Dark Magician, a Euro Dark Magician. Again, destroyed, probably very much heavy played, but it's just nice to see these, man. It's just really nice to see these cards. Um, just go through them, really, with you guys. Yeah, it's a different kind of video. Obviously, I can't be opening expensive packs every video as much as I want to be. I hope you still find this as top quality content, guys, because, you know, it's different. There's another Queen's Knight. We need a King's Knight now. So I would love to see a King's Knight out of here. Come on, King's Knight. King's Knight. Where are you, Mr. King's Knight? I'm Dragon. Trent. Uh, alien. Sogan. Alien Grey. Okay, let's keep digging in here. Where are those foils at? Giant Trunade, maybe, if it ever gets unbanned. Another Elemental Hero Clayman. We need a, we need a King's Knight and a Sparkman, don't we? 
to complete our heroes and the knights. <gasps> Dark Magician Girl! Tin version of DMG Euro. Wow, that's still beautiful even though it's very destroyed. That's a really nice card, guys. Blue Eyes White Dragon, SKE Unlimited. That's still a blue eyes. That's gorgeous artwork. I really love yellow BR. And a Revival Jam that looks to have been creased multiple times. But still survives because you can't kill the Revival Jam, right? Remember? So, what else have we got in here? I don't think there's like any metamorphosis. Maybe this guy like took out the expensive commons. So we've got another spirit message. Dark City Ultimate Rare. There we go. That is a Euro ult. No, it's not. It's an American ulti. It's not embossed. Uh, yeah, it's American. Probably heavy mod mod play. If we flatten that out a little bit. That's probably... I'd say we're approaching... Anti-spell fragrance. Yeah, I was going to say we're approaching £40 worth. I'd say we're now we're at about £40 worth of money back of the 75 that we've spent so that's not bad it's not too bad guys don't be fooled it's not easy to find good stuff in collections so let's uh let's keep going we are currently about 15 16 minutes into this video if i uh, cut out the clips make it as efficient as possible i know i know there's a dark mimic level three ultimate rare in here i did see that and that's like a 20 pound card so if we find that then we're we're laughing uh, hopefully it is in here Okay, Phoenix Wing Windblast, probably going to count it. The Petite Moth, shout out to Ruxin. Uh, Niwatori, MST, Axe Despair, Snipe Hunter, Magical Cylinder, Break of the Magical Warrior is a common, might be worth something. Alien Telepath from Gladiator's Assault, that's pretty cool. Exod, the Master of Guard, so again, probably like a 50p card there, not bad. Got to make our way to £50 next. Crab Turtle, let's go! Crab Turtle number four. So we got our fourth crab turtle there, which is sweet. Never say no to a crab turtle. Uh, da, 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 mad dog of darkness. Stop defense. Okay. So there's still so many cards to go through. So many guys. Probably another 10 minutes at least in this video. Thunder Dragon, decent card. Always a couple of pounds. Uh, Hero Spirit. That's pretty, pretty weird one. Uh, Sinister Serpent, European WC4. UFOroid, we pulled this recently in Ultimate Rare. Then we have a Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, we've got another Ravina Foils here, guys. We do have a Ravina Foil. So, remember, we're approaching £50. Dust Tornado, Zaborg First Edition. Oh, big crease on there. And Infernal Flame Emperor. So, that's probably about five, yeah, about £45 back, guys, I'd say. Maybe 50 Ooh, Ooh, Elemental Hero Necro Shade. And there's the Dark Mimic. So, that's actually not bad condition, this Dark Mimic. Oh, it is bad. Probably like five pounds. Yeah, I'd say we're at 50, 55 approaching. Definitely at 50 pounds worth. So we need to make 20 pounds back from here on. 25 pounds back. And then we are pretty much broken even. We're doing pretty well so far. Hopefully you think I'm being fair with the prices I'm giving to these cards. Um, if I am very far off, I will have a counter pop up on screen. So Trap Jammer from Invasion of Chaos. That's an interesting one. We've got Return Zombie and Blaze Wink and Butterfly. And then that's probably like one pound right there. Not bad. So, so we're about 51 pounds. Uh, DD Dynamite again. If anyone actually uses that and not just on Master Duel. Okay, this is actually getting so long winded. Really, really uh, tiring me out, this guys. Maybe maybe the uh, barrier statues, but I'm not really going to calculate, count, count them in. Mega Rock Dragon, I love, so I'm going to put that there. Shield and Sword. Seven complete, change of heart. Not too bad. Book of Secret Arts without the pen. That's interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Dark Blade. Summon Skull! No, nothing there. Come on, here we go. Card, of destru card Destruction again. Drillroid. Sangan from DB2, maybe. Uh, Book of Life. Dimensional Fisher again, maybe. Semi decent. If you can't find a hollow version where there's probably like 80 already that exist. Vampire Genesis again. Uh, God, these are first edition Enemy of Justice cards. Crab Turtle number five has been pulled. Let's go. Crab Turtle crew. Flower Wolf, Dark Blade. Prohibition always, always seems to be valuable, that card. Maybe people thinking it's going to come off the ban list. Uh, but I don't think it ever will be. Wabaku, fake. That's our first fake. It's, un it's actually rare that we haven't got many fakes in here. Black One of Heaven might be semi-decent. Uh, nothing there. Give me something good, guys. 
please. Dehuman, you can only get out of starter deck, Yugi. It's like the only printing of that card. Instant fusion. No, nothing really crazy on here, unfortunately. Some crystal beast. Dark Magician common, that's always decent. It's a Dark Magician, I guess. Scapegoat, might maybe a pound. Yeah, I'd say we're about 55 pounds now. 55 pounds worth of cards. King of the Swamp, yeah. Okay, 55. We've got 20 pounds to go. I think we can make back 20 pounds in these remaining cards. Neo Space, Symbols of Destiny, uh, Worm Drake. I think there's some foils down here. I can think I can see another Relinquished. And what do you know? Ooh, Dark Eradicator. Is it Black Luster Soldier? It's another Black Luster Soldier. So we've got three Black Luster Soldiers. That's not bad. And a common Neo is from Power of the Dollar. So yeah, we're uh, approaching £60 of value. We're not quite there yet, I wouldn't say, but we're doing okay. Return from the different dimension always seems to be... Polarization's pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, Swift Gaia, Death Counterblow. Here we go. Couple of foils. It's very, very played, the Swift Gaia, Death Counterblow. Super Electric Magnetic Voltec Dragon. <laughs> That's got a punch hole in it. Lol. That's weird. Hole punched. Probably worthless. Hero Flash. Proto Cyber Dragon. The mate before we break even. Give me like what, Turtle Oath. No, we don't care about the Oath. We just care about the tur the turtle itself. Cold Wave. Blue Eyes Toon. Toon Alligator. Follow Wind. Raise Body Heat. Offering to the Doom. Come on. Insect Barrier. Give me some good. Another Turtle Oath. Uh, give me some good spells or release. Mm. Final countdown or something. Share the pain. Seven completed. Change of heart will take. Uh, da, 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 da. Haven't seen one metamorphosis or one trap dust shoot. So maybe this guy knows what he was doing and took out all the expensive cards. Maybe Dimensional Fisher, Wild Heart. From EN. Uh, Vampire Genesis. Okay, that one's really OC. So you see the top to bottom, guys, the thickness. When I say OC, I mean off center. It's not really centered properly. Skull server, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we put Vampire Genesis there. Please. Reasoning might be worth something. Maybe 10p. Soul Exchange. Uh, Necroid Shaman. Hero Kid, I feel might be worth something. Upstart Goblin. We shall take Pyramid of Light again. Guy of the Fierce Knight. No, nah, it's not a foil. We won't care about that. Macrocosmos, maybe. Another fake soul release. So that's only the second fake card that we have seen. Water Omnotics. So you've got maybe about five minutes left, I would suggest, guys, um, of looking through these cards. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We've got, I think, 15 more pounds to go worth of cards before we break even. Obviously, you can sell the bulk, but it is kind of bad condition, so I wouldn't really want to do that. Probably just give this away. There is somebody who contacted me on Instagram saying that I'm giving away cards to children's shelters and children's hospices, so I'll probably donate some of the foils as well, make little decks or something. That'd be pretty cool, just to help those guys out um, who maybe be a little bit less fortunate than us, guys. Always nice to help out give stuff to people who are better in need uh, than we are so come on man give me i don't know maybe like a first edition i don't even know what i want what do i want i want a first edition ultimate rare horus the black flame dragon level eight but i doubt that's going to be in it i very much doubt it yeah there's not much first edition stuff here anyway very weird just turn those upside down Hotel Crow. Yeah, strange. You thought we would have found... You think we would have found something good. This guy used to be expensive, this Kaminari attack, so I'm going to put it there just for the sake of it, but I don't think it's actually worth anything anymore, so... Come on, guys. Two minutes left, hopefully, of this video. Not much left. Labyrinth Wall. Back to square one. No misprints either that, I, that I've seen immediately. If I've missed anything, let me know. Pretty off centered there. Pot of greed. Turtle oath. Flute of summoning dragon. Fake trap. Spell binding circle. That comes as a misprint. The dark beginning one with the wrong names, but unfortunately it wasn't. 
Blast Magician. Ah, oh, there you go, Guy the Fierce Knight from DB1. Normally that card is called Last Turn, I think. 30 or 50 cards, however many there are, maybe there's more than that, but you know what I mean. Last section of this £75 investment. We're, we're struggling, we do need about £15 worth of stuff and I'm just not seeing it. There's the Spark Man that we wanted, and there's a Neo Bell Man. So we've got... <laughs> Did we say we wanted heroes? Because we've got loads of heroes here. Glomos as well, Chrysalis, so he must have had some sort of deck, Rottweiler, that's nice to see, he was trying to make a hero deck, that's pretty cool, Skyscraper, yeah, Miracle Fusion, Neos, Nex, here come all the heroes, okay, so this guy maybe, maybe had a hero deck back in the day, Double Summon, Summon Skull, Magician of Faith, Tsukiyomi, might be worth a pound or two, uh, da 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 da, reran, yeah, nothing there. Okay, so this is the last stack of cards, guys. Uh, Giga Tech Wolf. That we have out of this collection. It's not looking very good. I don't think we will profit, unfortunately. Which sucks. But, it was a lot of fun. You never know what you can find out of collections. Let's see if there is anything here. Wing Dragon and uh, Gazelle. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Probably the best card there. Not bad, let's just do a quick recap. So this is about all the best cards that we had out of here. Not much crazy value. There were some really cool cards though, out of this collection. Um, and it just goes to show like, it's nice to pick up someone's old collection and you know send them off to homes that might look after them a little bit better. I've probably decided that I'm gonna give away most of these to that charity, like I said, that has children in need. Definitely going to be sending out the crab turtles because I think it's such a cool card and I want to share the crab turtle love. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a huge like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon another day in another video. Ciao for now.